Alright guys, how are you guys doing? Today is another YouTube video and today we're gonna do some deadlifts. I'm gonna work myself up to 380 kilograms. That's literally the heaviest I've gone for in quite some time. So I'm excited slash nervous. Should be a good pull. I'm hoping for a good pull because December 3rd is my last heavy session before December 3rd. December 3rd I'm competing in a quality meet here in Thos Power Gym. It's gonna be live streamed on Twitch and YouTube, uh, my platform, so make sure to tune in. I would love the support if you guys can tune in, see it, or even to share it with, with, with a family member, a friend who you think would love to see the uh, event itself. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down soon now, warm up, get going, and uh, yes sir, let's get it. <gasps> Usually before a deadlift session, I like to swing my hips. I swing them back and forth. Just to warm up my hips slightly. Forward, both sides, and then side a little bit. Nothing crazy. I like to show up, you know, get my pure cut, drink my rain, and then just get going. And that's just how my body works. We're all different, we're all different. So I'm not saying, just because uh, this works for me, doesn't necessarily work for you. We're all different, so. Just find what works first for you, I guess. So I like to rest roughly eight minutes between my sets. I also like to listen to my body. I think that's key, is to listen to your body. I often time my sets, so I have a phone on me. I time it. So if you feel like you're good to go, you're fresh, you're fully recovered, just go for it. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a so high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership, never ask the price. I hit the molly ball with my dogs. Y'all swipe it once without thinking twice, cuz. Strong man acting and just live in general, you know. What, what made me start to post this over media? Honestly, I, I don't know. I guess maybe, you know, that, that tension got me addicted to posting and, and because I, I started to post I got bigger fan page, more likes, more comments, more shares and, and slowly but surely my, my, my fan page started to grow. After season four in Game of Thrones, because it's like a strong vivid memory that I have that after the fighting against Pedro Pascal. I'm your daddy. Pedro, I'm your daddy. My phone was just blowing. Like it was just bam 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 bam. It's in every second. It passed, I got new follower. It was just crazy for the for the for the next probably a week or so. It was just crazy. It's just funny to look back and think, you know, and appreciate what you have today. Because I started with nothing. I right. were able to grow myself, be where I am today. I'm very thankful to be where I am today. I'm very thankful to my fans. If you're here by the way for the first time, I really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube page. I am always trying to grow there, um, get to at least one million. Um, subscribers and then who knows I'm gonna grow even bigger get bigger and bigger bigger that's my plan so if you guys can help me if you guys can subscribe like the video comment here to a friend uh, it would mean the world to me I love you guys you, you, it's just a unique community that I have here with you guys uh, you guys are great and I appreciate you all but I wanna I wanna find some kind of what's your call you guys if you guys could Comment down below what I should call you guys. You and my family, so I wanna have like a specific name for you guys. So please give me suggestions. I appreciate it. We have 320 kilograms on the bar. Easy. Easy weight, super easy. I'll do that just one rep. Let's see if I have uh, gained any more kilograms. About the same, honestly. Like, more is about like 164, six, you know, 
the bending if I just want to turn it off. The heaviest I've been, I think I've saw once on the scale, like 208 kilograms. Um, felt good, felt good. I actually like to listen to audiobooks and right now I'm listening to a book called Relentless and it's about this man that personal quotes for, like a lifting quotes, nutrition quotes for Kobe Bryant, MJ and many other great, great players in the NBA and I'm always a big fan of basketball, big fan of uh, MJ and many other guys so I'm just listening to that right now and yeah, if there's any suggestions on what I should listen to or read, please comment below. I like to listen to books in my free time in the evenings when I have some time off. I used to listen to podcasts a lot. What's Obviously Joe Rogan. Like most people, Joe Rogan, uh, mostly. Has Joe Rogan ever contacted you to come on the podcast? He has not. But I actually have... I have messaged Joe Rogan, by the way. I did. Should we show it? Yes. I did message Joe Rogan. I tried to go on his podcast. So I have, I have tried. So the rest is up to him. I would love to be on his podcast. I'm a huge fan of Joe Rogan. I think he's a cool guy, great guy. He has seen it. So this is, this is like a, a year ago. What's up, Joe? Come on, man, let's do the, do the podcast. Let's do it. Yeah, maybe, maybe he sees this. Let's see. We'll see. At least I'm open to it. I would love to be on his podcast. Okay. I need some ammonia and I need to get this up. The last set before my max set today. Okay, how do it look guys? How do it look? So, came up great off the floor. I gotta be able to pull 380. Overall happy, you know. Last sat before my top sat. <coughs> Usually like, when you lift high weights, you, you have training partners, you have people around you that help you. Um, load the plates, mental support. But today, I'm literally by myself, which is good as well. I'm tired. I'm fatigued from a lot of weeks of heavy lifting. So I get this today, which obviously the end goal is. I'll be very happy because next week we'll have an easy week and then we, then we compete. See so the last, last heavy deadlift before the meet, 3rd of December. So if you're just tuning in, if you, if you, if you, if you skip the intro, you, just, you, you went straight to this lift here, 380 kilograms for one rep, one set. Remember, the event 3rd of December is going to be live streamed on YouTube and Twitch. Make sure to check it out, tune in, tell your friends, let your uh, family and friends know. All right, I need this. Need ammonia. Help me. Who's from? Who's from? Come on! What did you think? It's crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy because uh, I'm fatigued, I'm tired. It's been very rough preparation. I had slight setbacks. When I say setbacks, my body was not feeling the best. I thought those, I had like inflammation there and there and pain there and there, but I worked around it. So, you know, I'm very happy. 380. Uh, 
Good lift. Yeah, buddy. Fuck you, subscribe, guys. Do it right now. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. You, you guys are the fucking the best. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. You're the reason why I keep making these videos. And you're the reason why I'm uh, inspired to make more and inspired to try my best to make the content always better, always, you know, that's the plan. And that's, you know, something that I'm uh, thinking about and aim on doing is to provide you guys with the best content I can deliver. I'm a gym guy, I like to lift weight, so that's the content I'll be posting. Uh, but I have something in mind, more in mind, so uh, stay tuned. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole risk covered up in.